back to our channel. Today I'm kind of in the process of a project, but I wanted to bring you up to speed as to why, what, and how I'm doing this. Had a friend that had a 12 by 12 piece of tile that I had decorated with my kids and we just kind of gave them away because we just had fun. Well, then she wanted a, a tray, I guess, for lack of a better word, to, to actually put the piece in as a display. Through conversations, I realized that she's looking for more than just a tray. This is going to be a project that I'm combining things. I saw a crate tray and I'm trying to replicate it but at a larger size. I have cut all of these at, double check my measurements, 13 and 7 eighths inches and I've cut this at 12 and a half. The plan is I've stained them in this beautiful mahogany red is to come and create kind of a lattice work through here and this will be the bottom I'll have to flip it over as of right now I have all the sides gluing together I'm working in the kitchen today because I needed a flat surface this was the best that I have plus it's kind of cold outside this is where it's drying I'm gonna let it dry I'm gonna clean the kitchen a little bit maybe grab some lunch then we'll come back and start nailing it together Okay, I decided that while I have it clamped together, I was going to unclamp it and then nail it and then do the backs, but I thought while I have it clamped, it's drying, it's probably already dry, I'm going to go ahead and start putting these pieces together, go ahead and start laying them out like I want them. While I've got stuff cooking, I'm in the kitchen anyway, let's take advantage of multitasking. lay these out and we'll get a feel for where I want to put them. We'll let it sit just for a second for that glue to, I don't want to hit it with a nail gun and I'm terrible with go to press down and my nail gun jumps and my board jumps and so give it just a second. Here's what I want to do. I want to create a bumper, for lack of a better word, with this twine. 
So when the piece of tile is put in there, it doesn't damage the wood. It's kind of her thinking, the person I'm building this for, so. Tack it with some wood glue. I've gotten the twine all the way around it. Again, I'm going to use it as a bumper. The purpose is to take this large piece of tile, this 12 by 12, and slide it in beside the twine and have room to drop it. And it fits in there beautifully, just perfect. If the tile slides in, it's going to hit the twine. It's not going to hit the, the wood. And when I get ready to take it out, I just kind of flip it out, let it sit on the twine there, take it and let it fall out to where I can use the tray by itself. Got a few more things that I want to finish doing on it to make it pretty. I have these corners that I'm going to be putting on the bottom. And oh, do you see that? I have these corners I'm going to put on the bottom, like so. And to match the twine, I have a twine handle that's going to go here. So let's go ahead and finish up this project. Thank you for joining me while I made this crate tile tray thingy that I've enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our channel. Marina says there's a bell button around here that you need to click for notifications for any time that we're posting a video. Make sure to like it, two thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and hope you come back and watch us on our next project.